In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a color by number puzzle book. If you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. As always, before we start, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Thank you. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a color by number puzzle book. So far, we learned how to create two types of maze and a dot-to-dot -dot book. So I think this would be a great addition if you're planning to create a so-called jumbo puzzle book. Before we start creating an actual book, I want to show you a sample of the book that we are going to create. Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, this book costs $9.73. And let me scroll down to check the number of pages and bestsellers rank. So this book has 80 pages and the rank is 3,367. So if I put the rank on the TCK publishing website, you can see this book sells 896 books per month. And let's also take a look at the royalty calculator of each book. So based on Amazon royalty calculator, the royalty is $3.69. And if I multiply that by 896, you can see this book makes more than 3,000 per month. For creating a color by number puzzle book, you can of course use any image you like. But I found images that the colors are clearly separate from each other work much better especially if you're creating a kid's coloring book because we want to have big sections for them to color. For our video, I'm going to use this one because as you can see, it has very clear edges and color separation. So let's head to Illustrator now. If you downloaded a vector image, your job is very easy. First, duplicate your layer and shrink it. This would be for our color reference. and then select your original layer and click on the color palette right here. This will change the fill to white and the stroke to black. Now, all we need is to mark each section by numbers based on their color. But first, let's create a table as a color guide. To create a table, right click on the line tool and choose rectangle grid. Now for a 2 by 10 grid, enter 1 for horizontal divider and 9 for vertical divider. Now, based on our color guide, these parts have the same color. So I'm gonna mark all of them as one. And I also add this to our table. So do this for every color, but just as a recommendation, I would suggest limiting the number of colors to 10 or less, since usually kids know how to count up to 10 or 20 at max. And since kids just started learning how to pick up their pen, it's better to avoid a small sections for coloring. So let's mark other sections too. So this is how you would do it if you have a vector image. And now let's try this with an image that is not vector, like a PNG or JPEG image. 
So drag and drop your image and go to the object and click on image trace and then choose make and expand. This will convert your image to an outline vector image. And just like before, put a table on the bottom of your image. For those of you that don't have Illustrator, I didn't forget you. So the next three methods are all done by free online tool. First, let's see how to do this on Gravit Designer. By the way, I think now is a good time to remind you as we are getting close to Easter holiday, if you want to create a book on this niche, it's better to start now. You can create all sorts of books like coloring books, dot to dot books, or even puzzle books. So that's why I'm gonna use Easter themed images for our next three example. So once you drag and drop your image to the Gravit Designer, first make a copy of it for our color guide. And if it's a vector, just change the fill to white and change all the borders to black. Then mark each section by numbers, just like before. If you don't have a vector, we have to do an extra step to first convert it to vector and then change the fill to white and borders to black. So to convert your image to vector image, click on modify and then path and choose vectorize image. This will convert your image to a vector image. And then you can choose each layer and change the field to white and borders to black. I always welcome any tool that makes my job easier. So as always, I researched and found two online tools that will help us create our color by number book. Upload your image as usual. Once it's uploaded, click on each color on your image to create your color palette. Now click on here and the image will be converted to a color by number template. You can toggle between the field version and outline version by clicking on field and outline buttons. If you're happy with the result, right click on the image and save it. You can also save the color palette if you're creating a colored book. If not, just write down the name of each color on your table. The second tool is pinetools.com, which we also use on one of our previous videos. So the first step is to convert this image to an outline image. So go to edge detection, upload your image and choose the second option right here and then hit detect. Now right click on the image and save it. So to change the color of these borders to black, go to photopia.com and upload your image. Go to filters and click on second option, which should be filter gallery. And over here, click on photocopy and adjust the details and darkness as you like. Once you finish, hit OK right here. I also want to add a stroke to this. So click on here and choose a stroke. For color table, you can just name each color as you like. 
or you can upload your image to this website and this will give you your image palette. What I like about this website is that it will give you the name of each color, not just the color codes. Okay guys, that's it. Before I finish this video, once again, I want to say, please check the license agreements of each website tool and file before using it on your book. I'm planning to create a comprehensive video about license agreement, terms and conditions of most used KDP tools in near future. Let me know what you think about this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Please let me know in comments if you had any question. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you all on the next video and bye-bye.